All right, he is a Food Network champion, a culinary Olympian, and a father of four, so he knows a thing or two about feeding some hungry back-to-schools. We're joined in studio by Chef Stephen C. Beatty to give us a delicious back-to-school recipe. Chef, always good to see you. It's good to be here. Uh, you know, it's early, but I feel good. You look good. I like well, this you. I like this combination thank you got going on. I've been using on. my pop secret seasoning, you know. Yeah. I was telling you, I was cooking a tomato <laughs> pie last night, and you, all your seasonings are like right next to my stove, so I just, I don't know what it is. I think this ramen needs a little secret seasoning, so. It, it does. So since we're talking about that, let's talk about your, your seasonings uh, that people can buy online. People can buy online, but I made the mistake of doing a pop-up at the TR, <laughs> the Farmer's the market? market. Yeah, the marketplaces last weekend. Do they sell you out? <laughs> it, it, listen, they were disrespectful towards me. I mean, they was reaching out, they was getting it. Like, you know, so we sold out in an hour and 15 minutes. As you should, because these seasonings, the Tuscan herb is my favorite. I, I use it on everything and it, it, it takes everything to that next culinary level so and, it really and it, does and it pays tribute to your father too which is great it does and you know and, and so the great thing about it is that uh what the dish we're going to uh, demonstrate today is about getting back community at the table <laughs> cooking flavorful meals but yet easy and you want kid, people to be able to have dinner with their families get exactly. off the ipad get off the games have yes. dinner with your family and you're a father of four so you know that it, the busy lifestyle of a family trying to get food on the table that's delicious but easy to make and this recipe you say com accomplishes that so this is one of my recipes i like to use when you clean out the uh the, the fridge the clean, you clean out the <laughs> fridge no i'm serious so um kids like macaroni and cheese right who doesn't love macaroni Ex and cheese exactly yeah. so this recipe is you do one part cream, one part uh, whole milk. All right. Okay, that's and pretty easy. Easy. We're going to bring it up to a simmer. And so you're going to get uh, whatever your favorite shredded cheese is. But then what you're going to do is just add it in. And Chef Steven, last night I was making my tomato pie. I'm like, what cheese do I want to use? I'm a smoked Gouda fan. Oh, so take baby, my money. It was just smoked Gouda everywhere. Take my money. <laughs> so we got uh, the cheese in there. Of course, we want to add some Pop Secret seasoning. Got to have it, right? Th this is the original. So the original is our baseline seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the safe one. You always, you always going to know that you know your food's going to taste good. With exactly. This one. Just add it on there. You'll thank everybody later. You don't and need then, to do too much. Then a little bit of the lemon pepper because it's going to add a nice little zing to it. Okay. All right. Right? And so once your cheese is going to melt down really, really, really quickly, all right? Yeah, it's, all, it's already like melting pretty quickly. So yeah. You can oh, yeah, they got a beautiful really overhead easy. shot. Yeah, they got, got me looking good over here. We got here. you over here. <laughs> we know what to do. And so then uh, once that starts to come down, we're going to just go ahead and add some pasta. And you can use a pasta of your choice. Pasta of your choice. Everybody has their favorite, you know? Pasta of your choice. And so what I like to do is that this is going to come together obviously extremely quickly, all right? And then gonna let this come up and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just transfer it so what I did was is that I was at the house so Broadwater uh, shrimp company love good, them yep my They're good great. friend Jason he got me some shrimp mm -hmm. all right so we cooked off some shrimp we had taco Tuesday right <laughs> so, so we had leftover pico de gallo we had some leftover pico all right so we're gonna put our shrimp right in here and they were so great too they're all like they they go to the coast several times oh. to get all these uh, fresh shrimp and fresh seafood. I love it. So while uh, I'll be back at TR on this Saturday. <laughs> and Re restocked? Restocked, ready to go. <laughs> and Jason was gracious enough. He's going to get me some fresh salmon. So I want to have salmon out there that I will have available for everyone to try. Okay. So what we do, extremely creamy macaroni and cheese. I don't like my cr macaroni dry. I don't oh, like that, you know, not. you got to drink like four uh, gulps of water <laughs> after each bite, right? If your macaroni and cheese is dry, please don't invite me to your house. <laughs> so what we did is macaroni and cheese with the shrimp, some cornbread. Ooh. Oh, yeah, cornbread. I know some people put breadcrumbs on top, all right? I, I like the cornbread twist. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of the pico on top. Everybody wants to know, where did Chef find the smallest skillet known to man? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to put some pea shoots on here. So a nice little crunch, some herbs. So it's elevated. It's elevated. Chef, place it out there so people can uh, take a good look at that. That is a dish right there. That is and a it, dish. And it's elevated, but like you said, it's, you cleaned out the pantry, you cleaned out the, the refrigerator, mm -hmm. and you added kind of what you, what you want, and that's what parents are looking to do. That was it. So literally, we had a conversation. We had cooked pasta. We made a cheese sauce seasoned it, garnished it, it's on the table. And that's what's for dinner tonight. The kids are gonna be happy because you can kind of let them, what, what do you wanna put on this? And you yep. can go crazy with that. And a lot of times what I do is I just set out bowls of condiments for the kids and I just let them top their, own, top their own macaroni. A mac and, mac and cheese bar. Uh, why did we not think of that? That's why we have you here. People can go and hire you for events. You do a lot of celebrity events, but mm -hmm. you will come to people's houses and create a culinary 
experience for them as well? They can just go to your website? Go to my website. All the links for my calendar is there. You can sign in for a personal chef experience. Also, I do create, uh, creative uh, pumpkin vegetable carvings, obviously for holidays or special events. And then finally, obviously, the seasoning link is there. So go ahead and support. And that's our next segment is going to be the carving. So we're going to do some carving for the holidays. Absolutely. Chef Stephen, thank you so much. We appreciate it. This thank is you. What's for Dinner Tonight. You can go to stephencbeatty.com to find out more information about all the stuff that he has available and to create that culinary experience for yourself.